Okay, this is uh, Neil Vanderstel, author of Global Economic Collapse, The New Dark Ages. Um, I just love how people think I'm some dumb, uneducated hillbilly sometimes, and um, you know, people just think I'm just so ignorant about things. You know, I don't, I don't really look like a scholar. I don't look like a professor. I, um, you know, the, I probably don't talk the most uh, educated. I don't talk like uh, so stylish and. Uh, I'm so unbecoming. I wear a beard. Oh my God! I'm wearing, you know, plain like clothes. This uh, piss on type of person. I just love the fact that um, people actually think that about me. Um, right now, I'm going to show you something I'm doing. It's highly advanced, and probably no one in the world knows how to do this like I do. This is a chart. Uh, I probably pronounce it wrong. It's chakras. Uh, a lot of people know what this is, and I keep a little chart near me, and each color you see you have red, and you have uh, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, and a violet color, which is your um, your crown, crown chakra, chak or chakra, chakra, I guess they pronounce it, chakra. I always pronounce things wrong, but just because I mispronounce things, don't think that I don't know what I I, I know what I'm talking I that I don't know what I'm talking about. I have I'm one of the worst dyslexics in the world. I actually have um, old uh, um, schoolwork why where I write out complete sentences backwards. That's why I talk so messed up because I I'm I'm a totally backwards thinking person, but. Some of the most backward think thinking people are the most intelligent people in the world. Okay, so I keep this little chart right here, and um, what does this do? Well, lots of things. It has everything to do with you. Um, a lot of people believe it brings you to higher spirituality, has to do with healing, uh, pyramid technology, you name it. Um, this light. I, I have lights, multicolored lights all over, and just like the chart says, you know, you can go, um, there's red light, now if I want, you know, a orange light or a yellow light, I could do all different lights, you know, uh, so I could work through the root uh, chakra, and then I could move up, and I can do uh, healing, Okay, I could do healing through color because color is frequency. I'm at a different frequency when I turn the color. <laughs> I, I know it sounds, it sounds silly, doesn't it? But your body can heal itself through frequencies. Diseases are frequencies. Your thinking is frequencies. Um, the earth has a pulse, a uh, Schumann frequency, and there's bass frequencies, there's different frequencies, there's octaves of frequencies. Check out this machine that I have. Check it out. There's no machine like this in the world. Okay, there's a crystal on the top, and then there's a crystal... There's a Tesla, Tesla, Tesla crystal in there, okay? And it can be set to all different frequencies, like the lights have different frequencies. I could set those to any frequency, up, up to um, 10,000 hertz. And uh, I could totally change your mood, just the frequencies alone. They've done military experience, experiments on this, and when they put people underground and they're away from the earth's pulse so to speak that they become unbalanced okay so we live in an unbalanced society with uh, smart meters and cell phones and um, if you don't know how to balance yourself out you're going to be operating at that negative frequency you know bees are dying off people are wondering why the bees are dying off well they're dying off because of the smart meters and the cell phones they can't navigate anymore uh, people are getting mentally sick because of the, um, you know, when they take drugs, that puts you at a different frequency. The stuff you eat, the stuff from Monsanto, 
the genetically modified stuff that you're not supposed to be eating. That's going to put your body at a different frequency. If you don't eat the right nutrition, if you don't get sun, if you're not at the, um, if you're not grounded to the earth, like I was talking about, they've done experiments on this. This is part of the device as well. It's like a little Tesla thing. Watch. Um, there's a grounding rod. There's a grounding rod, and uh, it's awesome technology. There's actually, there's, whew, I don't want to break it. Whoops. This is the grounding rod, and you, you, you hold the grounding rod, and then you, you, I hope I don't zap out my phone because it could do that. And then watch this thing really light up. I got a, I got it on a really high frequency, so I got to lower the frequency to a more earth frequency. And you could hear the thing buzzing now. Watch me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could put it on my brain. It isn't gonna going to kill me. Look at that. I'm putting frequencies right through my brain. Check it out. Is that doesn't that kind of remind you like the uh, Tesla Tower. <laughs> Isn't that freaking awesome? Check that out. Now, if you know what you're doing, you could do this on different parts of your body, the chakras, and um, do different frequencies, and uh, totally balance yourself, and heal yourself, and change your mood. And uh, this, this machine is unlike any frequency device in the world. Because it has the Tesla coil in it and it has the crystals. It's configured in such a way to work both through crystals and through frequencies. It's it's not just a frequency thing. See, there's it's little little even this little thing is like a little Tesla Tesla thing. When you touch it, it comes alive, see? So his frequencies are going right through my body. And it's not harming me, you see. You know, they tried to condemn Tesla's work. They tried to condemn, um, Tesla used to do experiments as well. He used to put, uh, frequencies through his body. And, uh, it was, um, his competitor, his competitor, Thomas Alva Edison, who condemned Nik Nikola Tesla for introducing alternating current and saying that alternating current was dangerous. But if you didn't have alternating current, if you would have listened to, Thomas Edison, you would have the most inefficient society that you could possibly imagine because uh, your cities would be in the dark. You would not be able to transfer electricity from um, the power plants to the home, okay? Because DC is inefficient. They can't do that. You have to have the wave, you have to have, uh, you have to be able to carry the currency at a high frequency to get it there and then step it down to where it could be used in the devices. And um, they were trying to condemn that because uh, Tesla knew a lot about technology where he could run the whole world on free energy. And they didn't, they didn't want any of his technology to come out, even that, because it got us closer to that. So... He invented free energy 100 years ago with the Tesla Tower. It looks similar to this. To transfer, and that's just like a light bulb that you see like in your turn signal. But have you ever seen your turn signal do that? Huh? And that's, that's shooting frequencies right through me. And, um, you know, the, the amazing factor is that he invented free energy 100 years ago by basically taking something similar to a lightning rod, tower, a tower connected to the aquifers into the ground and taking the juice of the earth and providing free energy. And the United States Marines, can you believe that, went and tore down the tower and said it was a spy device because J.P. Morgan demonized Nikola Tesla, the greatest inventor ever. I mean, we, we, our society would have come so far. This would end practically every war we've been in. We wouldn't have had to have world wars. We'd live in a totally different society. But yet, they tore down this one tower and took all that research and they're fleecing society 
over energy, you know, fighting over energy, and you have people, if you believe in the global warming, that the, the, I don't believe what they're saying about global warming, but if you did believe that, this technology right here is the answer, and it's, it's over 100 years old, and Tesla knew about it, okay? And they tried to demonize it. So you have a stupid society that's not evolving. A hundred years ago, they had this technology, and we, we've not gotten any farther than it. Anyway, I'm Neil Vanderstelt. People think I'm just some dumb hillbilly, I know. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, and share if you like my videos. If you want to educate yourself beyond what you can possibly be educated through the system, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.